Hello, welcome back to Thea the Awakening. We're on day number 141 of our campaign to keep our village alive. Alright, we've got both of our expeditions out and about. Our combat expedition's here, heading towards these chests to make sure the area is clear for our crafting expedition, or our gatherers, uh, I should say. So they're up here gathering some much needed raw materials. So we're going to sweep through here with our combat group. Then, unfortunately, we're going to have to trek all the way back to the far side to head to that undead ruins, as long as the area remains clear. And then uh, our gathering group will stay here, hopefully, a couple more turns before heading back. So let's get moving. We've got seven movement points. Hey, ooh, hello, Four Skull Encounter. That's not good news anywhere near my uh, expedition here. Well, let's go ahead and encounter the this. The, settlement. the rusty iron gates look foreboding and creepy, but many secrets may lie within. You rummage through the ruins of this old settlement and find yourself in what could have been a cemetery. Before you can retreat, you see the dead rise in their skeletal forms and attack. All right, <clears throat> two unliving corpses and three skeletons in combat. <clears throat> what did we get where? Uh, this is not a good mix. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not liking this mix much, but we're gonna have to go with Dobia Slava out first. We get one card. Don't you go, Dobislava. Ouch. This is gonna be a rough one. <laughs> oh boy. Uh huh. So that's the way this is gonna be. That's not good. I've got first actions that could get all three of my combat guys out there, but that means I wouldn't be able to use them for other purposes. Ugh. He's only supposedly a level three, but he's got that and that. That's just wrong. <laughs> that is wrong. Hmm. There's at least one more unliving corpse possible. Don't know which side he's going to come out on. I don't know how tough the skeletons are yet. I'm thinking of going with Mashevko next. And then... Uh, he's not going to do anywhere near enough damage to kill that first guy, though. I'm going to have to really stack the front end. <clears throat> How to do this? I think Mashevko and yeah, let's do that. Let's get him out. He can at least uh, absorb a fair amount with that 24 defense. Then I'm thinking to go out with. He's really strong in both counter tactic as well as support ally or first action. Save her. He's even better at counter, but not as good as the others. I might use him, because this guy also is even better counter tactic. Not enough counter offense. Really high support ally and or first action though. Counter offense of four. Might be able to get a counter offense off. Or I can throw a confuse. I think 
think I'm gonna throw a counter tactic out. Man, I wish Himislav was not over in my combat group. Yeah, do that one. Yeah, just a skeleton level one. So it's just the unliving corpses that are gonna be a problem, and unfortunately it's probably over there. Hopefully he plays it next and uh this guy can absorb the hit with his shield. There it is. Only a sword on this one. Pretty strong sword though. 30 points. Alright, so theoretically I am going to throw him out. He's going to do 18 to that guy right now. Then I'm going to throw him to the front. Uh, it's not going to be enough. Wait, yes it will be enough. So... 36 and 9 is 45 plus his damage, so that guy's going to die. Then he's going to be halfway dead before the fight starts. So that will kill... I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. So two cards. So we're going to throw... Actually, I can throw both of these guys out right now. So if I'm going to do that, I want you to go first. Then you. Alright, now we want first strike, or I mean first action, first action. So level 5... These two are going to do first actions. That leaves this guy to do something else. I could counter tactic that last skeleton, or I can shield ally whoever ends up in the front, just in case. And I think that's probably what I'll do. All right, so we're going to first action you. Really wish I was first actioning somebody. Eh, it won't make a difference. So first action you. And then I can either confuse or I can shield my ally. So 9, 36, 45 should be enough damage to kill that thing. I think I'm gonna shield ally just in case something goes on goes wrong. Nah, let's let's confuse that second skeleton. I think that'd be better. All right, here we go. I think this will work out. So I took a minor amount of hit point damage from that first first blow, but otherwise we're gonna be fine. Yeah. All right. I was a little worried there at first. That first spear. <laughs> I thought another one of those guys was gonna come out. It was gonna be ugly. You beat the enemy. I got a four star coming up right after that. Now I am kind of worried about that one. Um, pretty good resources out of that. Yeah. What is this group? Oh, looks like a giant. Hmm. Guys are gathering thimblewood, mushrooms, and vegetables. I got my gold supply. Only got 14 nimblewood so far. Ideally, I'd like to stick around for a little bit. If I'm gonna try that though, can't leave these giants here. I either have to attack them right now with my combat group. Let's do it. I'm not going to get a better shot at them. You approach a group of giants, and you have just enough time to figure out the best approach.
I just don't think I have enough sneak. Even my Beastmaster only has very low sneak values. He's got really high. Mashivko's got uh, massive stealth for sneak. Six stealth. Uh, man, I just... Distraction, stealth, faint. Nope, not faint. Um, my Beastmaster's got the lowest stealth of anybody in my group, it looks like. Everybody else is at least stealth 6 or higher. Um... Not seeing hardly any distraction amount, though. There's a little bit there. Man, I really don't want to fight these guys straight up, but I just don't think I can afford the sneak. Here we go. One unliving giant, two fat rats, and five hulking rats. Definitely don't auto resolve. Alright. We get to go first. Man, did we. God damn it, he ended up over here again. This is a terrible group. <laughs> terrible! I think we just got screwed big time by the uh, rapid or random card draw. All four of my guys are spears, plus my littlest guys over here. So I needed at least one of my hammers to help deal with the sheer number of rats. Oh, and all my shields are pretty much over here as well. We just got screwed big time. Every single one of my guys with armors over here. Well, this is not going to go well. <laughs> we may we may be ending our campaign right here from the looks of it because this is the toughest fight we've probably had and I got the absolute worst card draw I could have gotten. The only thing that came right in the card draw between the two sides was my archer guys over here. I like that. Every other thing I hate. <laughs> Ugh. We're just going to get crushed. What I'm looking at is these numbers. One piece of shield, one piece of shield, one shield, two shield. I have no armor over here whatsoever. And they're also not going to get their the benefit of their... Well, one guy at least. Like if I put him out right now, Himislav... If he puts out anybody with uh, first strike, Himislav's just going to get decimated because he has no shielding. I almost always want to put somebody with some shielding or a hammer out to begin with. And I have no good initial plays on this one. I don't know what level these things are. And all most of the guys that ended up over here, except for my archer guy, I don't really have a lot of tactics on. Ugh. Too low a first action, too low a support. A decent shield ally, but the rest of it kind of sucks. This is going to be really, really bad. And there's no way for me to get the uh, shield guy out before the second round. Yeah, we're about to get crushed. I'm going to lose, if not the entire group. Maybe I should retreat right here. I think I'm going to retreat. This is a horrible, horrible matchup for this kind of a fight. 
I'm going to retreat. I'm going to take hits and damages. Ooh, my goblin, goblin Beastmaster took a big hit, but I don't see the blood drop on anybody yet, so... Take a look here. So, 8 out of 18, so he's just above... <laughs> He's like two points above the minimum in order to get critical wounds. Everybody else came out of it okay. Very, very minor wounds. But the Goblin Master, he got hit. Or the Goblin Beast Master, he got hit pretty good. Alright, I'm glad we got out of that with just that. Uh, we've got three points of movement left. Hopefully that guy can't chase me down. Um, let's. I'm going to have to get this expedition out of here. Break camp. You guys are going to have to go. Even though I don't want you to. Hope you don't encounter anything on your way back. I want to at least get that gold back. No! These shrooms could have many uses, either as medicine or just food. But you do have an eerie feeling when you stand close to the luminous circle. No, not going to take the chance. <laughs> That's my gathering group. Can't afford to risk. You guys also directly out of here. Hopefully the giant doesn't chase me down. If he does, I just gotta hope that I get a better mix in the cards. Alright, we're done there. Let's check the village. What are you guys doing? I forget. Uh, I got nobody gathering. I don't think I have anybody doing anything at the moment. Nope, we must have just finished everything up. Alright, uh, well, watchtower... What have we got? Cabbage, smithy, her. You have the well and wash tower. I think we've got everything built. Alright, um. Let's do some more cooked meals. Don't actually have that much food here. Hmm. I got most of the food out with my traveling groups currently. I need to get fooded back up again. Um, well, I guess we're going to do some meat and some veggies and standard wood. Really? All right. Sausages sounds good to me. Uh, let's just set it on infinite for now. All you guys make some sausage. I don't have anything else I want to focus on there at the moment. Alright. See where those giants go. Oh, I think I lost track of them. Yep, lost track of them. Oh, naturally. As soon as I move, that pops up. That's hilarious. Alright. I'm wondering if I should have gone one space less distance and done a camp. So I could have gotten healing on uh, the Beastmaster here. Um, I think I might leave that area alone for now. Just head back to town, get healed up, then head out to the Undead Ruins. And then uh, hopefully we level up or get some more gear. And then we'll come back this direction to get these and take all those giants on. Really hope those giants aren't just beelining straight to my village. That would be bad. Alright, come on. Move there. Don't want to encounter it. Just move. Nope, you're good. Dare I move that way? Take my entire movement to get there. Now, let, let's head back and do a general reshuffle of gear and uh, health and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so we got... Uh, 18 sausages done. You guys just keep doing sausages for a couple of turns. Uh, we've got one research point we're going to hold, and I don't care. Uh-oh. Man, we got all sorts of stuff wandering around now. Alright, you guys head into the village. And you guys head into the village. 
All right, everybody's back home for once. Uh, I want expedition two. Okay, my expedition one then. Be that way. All right, drop off the gold and all this other random stuff. Keep the food items. Uh, don't show me equipped. All right, food, 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 food. Yeah, they didn't get much when they were out and about that time. They only got the one thing that happened. Um, we got 12 out of 18. We're just going to spend the rest of the turn here getting healed up. So you guys are done. Expedition 2, give me that yummy gold. And the little bit of nimble wood you picked up. Uh, the veggies and mushrooms. The rest of that you can keep. No, and the fish. And we'll give you some more wood. Um, plenty's plenty. Alright, so they're ready to go out again. I just have to figure out where I'm going to send those guys. Things are getting dangerous out there. Um, can't afford to go back that way. I think I'll just go out right next to the village here and get some ancient wood. So it's that space right there. If I go here, I can grab my choice of any of those. Actually, if I go here, never mind, that's part of my home. Yeah, it doesn't really help. I think I'll go here. Now, I need to stay as close to the village as I can, so we'll go right to that spot. Right where the cosmic tree is. Alright, Expedition 2. Move here. Uh, I can't set up camp here, apparently. All right, gather me some ancient wood, please. Didn't quite get it down. Look at that. One, five points short. Five points short. God damn it. <laughs> I need anybody in this group to get a point of gathering so I can get the ancient, ancient wood in one turn. Ah, so close. All right, uh, you guys. All right, hard transferred your other things. We're packing crazy amounts of weird foods just for the uh, movement benefits. And you're staying here for the turn. I think we're done. We're going to do another turn or two of our sausage crafting. Let's let it roll. All right, where are we at for XP? We're still a ways away. All right, Expedition 2 is set until they get chased off. Uh, how are you guys doing? And he's at 14 out of 18. I think we're going to call that good enough. Uh, actually, let's... Anything change in our gear that's being left around? Grave Digger. Five and of room for a ring. I think most of the rest of the stuff we've got pretty good gear on everybody. A 
couple of bows and a couple of rings. Don't have any spare bows. And I've only got this one ring with a point of sturdiness. So I'm not going to worry about it, I don't think. Um, these guys, one of those. And nope, don't want to fill that space. Alright, I don't think there's anything weirdly we can change up there. Alright, let's see what we can do. What do we got? Uh, da, 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 da. Social sneak or tactics? God, I just... Erg. Three child rates. Never heard of those. And now I get a decent mix. Got my bow guy where I want him. God, Himislav just refuses to get out of my front line. Come on, Himislav. You're a crotchety old man. Get over into the tactics area where you belong. At least once. Alright, well, as usual, Dobioslav's going out first. We get one card, and then we'll get to see what these guys look like. Alright, whoa, hello. Alright, 30 health, about, whoa, so they're bloodsuckers. <laughs> they get to leech that much health back if they're still alive. Base damage is not much, but look at this crazy amount, holy crap. Alright, uh, yeah, these things can be nasty. So, I'm going to do 34, so the first one's dead already. And I'm going to get two cards. I can throw out 36, that's 18 and 13, so I can kill the second one right now. And then I'm going to get to go before the last one comes out, so it should be an easy kill. So we're going to do it this way. You, then you, so that one's already dead. Turns over. Alright, so easy kills. Um, they're level one. Uh, do I have any confuses? I don't have a single confuse. Shouldn't make a difference. Because, um, like I said, I'm going to do 34, which will kill that, and then 36 and 26, which will kill that. So. Shouldn't be any real surprises here. Um, oh, I do have confuse. I'll confuse that one just in case. Counters, counter, shield, support. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Man, I like having this guy over here. that I guess. And then support ally. <laughs> Another grave digger, not a big deal. Alright, they're out of movement points. They're doing their thing. They're making more. We are done. No! Alright, things are getting kind of nasty out here. I'm pretty sure I'm behind the power curve. Now, this is my very first game of this, so... I've learned a lot from this first playthrough. I would do things quite a bit differently the next time I make an attempt. So I'm feeling pretty behind the curve power-wise right now. Uh, things are starting to get ramp up and get pretty nasty in these random encounters. Especially that obviously that giant encounter. But uh, that giant encounter, I would have done it, but we just got really, really screwed on the random card draw. I got just about the absolute worst card split between my tactics and my combat group that I could have gotten for that kind of a fight so 
I think that was just the random nature getting to me there. But uh, we managed to get out of it, so hopefully next time we face them, we can get through it. These three skull encounters seem fairly trivial for a main combat group. But my development of my city, my research, my other group, and the lack of new members joining is really, really concerning me. I haven't had a new member join in I don't know how long now, how many turns it's been. So I don't feel like I'm getting any growth. I can't get another combat group out. My crafting, um, gathering crew has not changed at all. So I just feel like I'm pretty far behind the power curve. I do a whole lot better next time now that I understand the mechanics a lot better. But we're going to keep going. We're going to fight this to the bitter end. So that's the episode for today, folks. Hope you're enjoying the series. Let me know what you think in the comments down below or via my Discord channel. You're more than welcome to visit there. we got lots of folks over there. We chat about the games, and I try to keep everybody advised on what's going on and what I plan to do. Hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.